What's going on guys? So today's episode one in our physique series. I'm here with my buddy Tino. Tino's a god when it comes to anything gym related. So trust him and his expertise. We're gonna run through a workout today, walk you through different movements, why we do them. And uh, here we go. Okay guys, so this is the bench press. It's probably one of your really most basic staple exercises that you should have in your repertoire. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you some cues. Keep in mind when you start working out, especially on your bench press. Uh, we're gonna have McKay lay down. So when we get down on the bench press, um, the first cue that we wanna have is our eyes. A lot of times when you're bench pressing, you'll take it off the rack and then you'll keep hitting it as you're moving. So the easiest way to fix that is to have your eyes under the bar. Um, as soon as your eyes are directly under the bar, then you know you're in the right place. Your second cue are your heels. So you can get a lot of drive through your heels into your hips um, so that you can push through. When you're setting up your hands, so go ahead and grab the bar. A key for me is usually like my thumb is at the top of the knurlings. Really like the biggest thing you want are your wrists stacked over your elbows. So when you're unracking your bar path is directly under your nipples. And one of the biggest keys that you want to keep in mind is your lower back. So your lats, um, a lot of times they're kind of rolled over. So what you want to do is make sure they're down and back. A uh, key phrase that we'll use is like, um, tuck your shoulder blades in your back pocket. So you tuck it in, you have some space under your lower back. Um, now when you're repping out, just make sure you're hitting it down to your nipple line and then back up. When you're doing your bench press, um, a lot of times you see people flare their elbows out, uh, which could cause a lot of issues with your shoulders. And so something to keep in mind is to keep your elbows nice and tucked and close to the body as, as close as you can. Okay guys, so uh, this is our second compound movement of the workout. It's our shoulder press, our strict press. Uh, so when we're walking up to the bar, the easiest way to remember how to like place your hands on here um, is a hang loose sign. So when your hands go onto the bar, uh, you're gonna do hang loose. Your thumb, your thumb is right here at the edge. Your pinky is out as far as you can. And that's where you're going to hold on to the bar. Nice. The reason why I want this is because um, your wrist needs to be stacked correctly over your elbow. And the more stacked and correct it is, the more strength you can get. When you unrack the bar, some keys to remember here, uh, we're gonna activate the glutes, so we're gonna keep those nice and tight. We're gonna activate your core, so you're gonna brace your core. And you're also going to, same thing here, you're drop your lats, so you're gonna keep those nice down and back. Now that everything here is solid, we're gonna push up. As soon as you get past your forehead, you're gonna push your head through and then lock out at the top, okay? And that's your strict press, and those are your cues to remember that. All right guys, so this is our tricep overhead extension, okay? This is a great exercise for your triceps and a full range of motion. So what we're gonna do here for the setup, um, they're, you're gonna do a nice, cool little quick turn to bring it up over your head. When you, what we're doing here, um, we have an athletic stance, so your knees are slightly bent, uh, not locked out. Uh, your core is tight, your glutes are tight, and your elbows. Um, try not to float them out so much. We're gonna bring it in as much as we can. And then full range of motion, we're gonna bring it up and lock out to the top and then back down. The easiest way to remember that is when you're coming up to the top, you're gonna to open up your hands and then back down. Okay guys, this is our next exercise for our shoulders on our push day. Um, we are going to do some shoulder raises. It's a really staple workout movement that everyone should have for their shoulders. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a nice tight core. We're gonna roll our shoulder blades down and back. As you're coming up with the weight, what you wanna picture is you're pouring out a teapot here at the top. So your elbow, should, like your pinky should be higher than your thumbs. So we're gonna come up, pour it out, and then back down. As you're coming up, um, you're opening up your chest a little more and more each time. And then when you come back down, you can relax a little bit. This is our kneeling single arm shoulder press. Um, the reason why we wanna work on this is to even out our shoulders, making sure that both are just as strong as the other, and to work on our st stability while we're working through it. 
So what we're gonna do here, um, the knee that's up is opposite of the working arm, okay? And so when he brings it up to the top, the biggest keys that we wanna keep in mind, same thing here, shoulders down and back, your core is braced. And as you're pushing up, we're in a neutral grip. We're gonna lock out at the top and then bring it back down. Um, as you're doing this, uh, some things to keep in mind are just to make sure that your elbow is nice and tight to the body, you're not flaring out. And the other big key here is to try to keep your body in a straight line. Uh, sometimes when we're doing this exercise, you'll want to cheat it up and you'll feel your body kind of moving around. Uh, the biggest key here is to keep it um, nice and centered the entire, through the entire workout. This is our cable chest fly. Uh, another really good staple chest exercise to have in, in your um, reserve. So what we're going to do here, when you're standing, you're going to take a step forward. You can split stance or keep your feet together. Um, your shoulder blades are down and back again. And then as you squeeze the cables together, we're going to hold it for a second here at the bottom and then open back up at the top. As you open up, you're going to do the same thing with your lats. Make sure they're down and back, open up, and then bring it all the way down and into the squeeze. The reason why we do this at the top is to continue with the full range of motion. Um, the biggest thing about this also is to not only like hit those um, pecs, but you also are fixing your posture. And that's why we wanna hold that position through most exercises that we do. All right guys, this is our French press. This is our, our next tricep movement. Uh, similar to what we did on the cable, but this time we're gonna use a dumbbell. Uh, that way we can work on stability in the shoulder and for the tricep as well. You can do this on a bench seated. Uh, right now we're gonna use this as a backstop. Uh, your cues here, so you want to make sure your back is nice and um, flat on the bench. And as he lifts the weight overhead, the biggest focus that I want here, your elbows are going to be straight to the wall in front of you. So pick something that you need to look at and make sure those elbows are nice and tight to the body. We're going to come down all the way for full range of motion. Then we're going to explode right back up, full extension of the top. All right, guys, so we just finished episode one of our physique series here with Tino. We did our push day today, so we did um, anything with a push movement. So we'd focus on chest, shoulders, and triceps, two exercises each, so six in total. We were here about an hour, so that's a good estimate of, of time that you can dedicate to this workout. We wanted to focus on a few things, really tucking our shoulders back, our lats, making sure we have good form, because if you're working out without good form, you're not going to be accomplishing a whole lot. So appreciate Tino, more episodes to come. Cool. Thank you guys, appreciate it. This is, this is gonna be fun. Yeah.